Hello, my name is Rodney Hill. Today we're going to create some multi-step strategies on an ICB tool. First, we're going to start by creating a loosening strategy to handle what happens when we put the tool in reverse. Then we're going to create three tightening strategies, starting with a two-step, a joint conditioning strategy, and then finish with a torque plus angle. If you want to skip ahead to any of those sections, please see the chaptering below or take a look at the description below the video. If you haven't already seen our videos on how to connect to the tools or how to provision the licenses, you might want to check those out before you go through this. Now, let's jump into the software. So I'm going to open up my web browser to the tools address. I've already done that here. I'm on the home screen here in the tool. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tightening menu. So I'll pull up my tightening menu, and I can see that I don't have any tightening programs in the tool. So we're going to build a few. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a loosening program. So I'm going to build a loosening program so that when we put the tool in reverse, the tool knows what to do. So I'll click on my plus sign up here at the top, and that lets me add either a tightening or a loosening. I'll click on loosening, and now I see my multi-step menu. And the programming here is similar to the multi-step programming on the PowerFocus 6000 or even on the PF6 Flex system. So there's a few things I'll need to set up here, and I can see that I have a red exclamation point here that, that warns me there's um, something here that's, that's amiss. And my maximum torque limit has defaulted to zero, and that won't work. Obviously, we're going to have some torque to overcome if we're doing a reverse strategy. So I usually set this to the max of the tool. I'm using a 15 Newton meter ICB tool. So I'll set that to 15. And as I click out of that window, I can see now that my, my error has gone away. And it's also highlighting that line in blue to let me know that I've changed that field. And so I'll click Apply. And that is now part of my program. So I'll go back here. And now I need to tell the tool what to do when I put it in reverse. So we can see I have a menu, kind of a blank slate down here. So what I want to do is I want to loosen uh, to trigger release. So I'm going to grab this from the, from the right side here, drag it over, and set up my, my tighten to trigger release, or my loosen to trigger release. What I'll do here is I'll set up the speed that I want to back off with. We're going to use 300 RPMs. I can set up my ramp. That's how fast it's going to get up to speed. My brake type, if I wanted to use adaptive braking, um, the maximum time um, for my reverse. I'm going to give it a little more time here in case we, we need to back off really far. And then uh, the tool will basically run until I release the trigger. So I'll click Apply, and I've added a reverse program now to the menu. If I go back, I can see I have loosening. Um, I just gave it a general name of program. I could give that a name of whatever I wanted if I wanted to have different loosening programs for each P-set. So now we're, we're going to create another multi-step P-set here. This one's going to be a tightening program. And I'm going to create basically a two-step program for our tool here. So again, I'm going to take a look at, these are my global settings at the top here. I'm going to take a look at my maximum torque limit. Again, I'm going to set that to the max of the tool, which is 15 Newton meters. My program name here, I'm going to call this uh, 7 Newton meter two-step, so I know what program I'm running, right? You may name this the name of your application or the name of the station that the tool is running in. One of the things I will need to select here is a loosening program. And this loosening program is the program that I just created. And this tells me when I'm running this program, which is program number one, when I put it in reverse, I'm going to run the program that I set up, which right now is our only reverse strategy. So I will close that menu. And now I need to tell the tool what to do. So I'm going to add this. Uh, I'm going to create a two-step tightening here um, that's actually going to have three steps. So we're going to tighten to a torque. So I'll drag that into my sequence here. We're going to wait. So I'll drag a wait step here. And we'll talk a little bit more about what these do. And then I'm going to tighten to another torque, tighten to final torque. I'm going to slow down so that I don't overshoot uh, what I'm trying to tighten. And I'm going to continue. So you'll see i got a couple things here that I need to edit in these steps. I need to tell the steps what sort of things I want them to do. So I'll click on my first uh, torque here. We'll, tar we'll target three Newton meters. We're going to go pretty fast on the rundown here at 300 RPMs. When we get to three Newton meters, it will move to the next step. I have a time limit here on how long this can take. I also have an angle high limit here. So right now, if I exceeded 360 degrees, it would stop and it would tell me that I exceeded the angle in that step. So I'm going to kind of open this up to, to a wider range here. We're going to make this 2,000 degrees um, just to show this working today. So you'll see that, and now all my red is gone from that step in the program. Now I come to my wait step, and there's not much I want to do here to wait. 
Um, we're going to wait really short time here, 0 0.05 seconds or, or 50 milliseconds. And I'm going to change the, uh, the high limit on my tool again. I'm just going to use uh, 7 because that's going to be the highest torque in my, in my tightening process. There won't be any angle in this step because we're just waiting to begin the next step. Then I come to my last step here, and we're going to run it at a lower speed. So I'm going to leave this at 60 RPMs for this. Um, we'll make our target torque 7 newton meters. And I can set here in the steps my limits for torque if I want. I can also set that globally up here. So if that's exceeded in any step, that will, that will stop us from our tightening process. But I'm going to do it right here in the step. I'm going to set a low limit of 5 newton meters and a high limit of 9 newton meters. And again, every time we make these changes, you can see the color changes to let you know which field you've made, uh, made changes on. For the maximum time here, I'm also going to open that up a little bit to 15 seconds. And maximum angle, um, let's go with 1,000 degrees. So I click Apply, and now these steps are all set up. This is ready to go, and I can use this program uh, to make some tightenings. So to do that, I got one more step I need to do to actually use this program. I want to go to my Integrated Controller Tool menu, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to change my task to this program that I just created. So I click Apply. The tool will now run that program. If I put the tool in reverse, it will run the reverse program that I set up. So now we're going to run the tool on a test joint. As we do the run down here, we'll see our results. Um, the tightening status that we had from the tool, we reached a torque of 7.08 newton meters. That was OK. It met all the specifications in our tightening process here. If we take a look at the graph, we can see on the graphs here on the IXB tools, we have a lot of information. We show all of our different step limits here in the graph. We show where the different steps operated. And we also show the values from each one of those steps. So you can take a look at that and see all the different things that, that happened during this tightening process. And we can see, even during our weight step, we had a little bit of relaxation of torque. So we continued on, and we, we hit our target torque there at 7.08. So I'm going to run another tightening here, and we'll see this update real time on the screen. There we are. We can see our tightening information again here. And you know, if we had a serial number that was attached to this or a VIN number attached to this tightening, we would see this at the bottom of the screen. So this is a really good result view. We have a lot of different trace options here. Our default is torque over time. There's also angle over time, torque over angle, current over time, current over angle, speed over time, speed over angle, and then we're back to our, our default view there of torque uh, over time. We can also see if we're running a batch sequence here, we would see the different uh, areas in the sequence where we are in the fasteners that we've completed. So now I'm going to set up another tightening program. And this tightening program, we'll, we'll call, um, we'll do a couple things here. We're going to do a little joint conditioning. So what I'll do in this program, I'm going to start again. My maximum torque limit is going to be 15, just like the, the top end of the tool here. I'm going to call this um, forward, reverse, forward. And we'll, we'll set again a target of 7 newton meters. And what we can do with this is a little bit of joint conditioning. So we're going to go forward, we're going to reverse, then we're going to go forward again to 7 newton meters to kind of condition our joint. So I'll click Apply here, and now I'm going to add the steps to that program. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tighten to a torque. So I'm going to tighten to, uh, let's say again, we'll start into 3 newton meters here at 300 RPMs. Set my maximum time to 15 seconds. I like having a little more time there. I'm also going to open up my angle window in case I have a really long way to drive the fastener to 2,000 degrees. I will now add a reverse step. So I've tightened to a torque. Now I'm going to loosen to an angle value. So I'll drag that step into our program here. Let's scoot over to the middle of the screen. And I need to tell it how far I want the tool to reverse and at what speed. So we're going to reverse at, uh, let's say, 150 RPMs. And we'll back off uh, 180 degrees. So what's going to happen? We're going to go forward here to a torque. We're going to back off to this angle. And then we're going to continue our last step. So I will now add my last step to the tightening here. And this will be uh, a tighten to torque. So we'll add another tighten to torque step. And now we'll go forward again at 60 RPMs to our uh, 7 newton meter target with the tool. I'm also going to adjust the time again to 15 seconds. And I'm going to add some peak torque limits in here to make sure that I stay uh, within the limits of this joint. 
As I've done that, I click apply again to run this program. I actually need to go back to my integrated controller menu and select this program in the menu. All right, so now we're gonna do a rundown with this new program and we're going to tighten on a, a soft joint here on our test joint and we see that we get a torque of 7.04 newton meters, which is almost spot on with our target. If we take a look at our graph here, our graph looks a little bit different, but again, we can see that we went through the, the three steps that we configured on the tool. We tighten to a torque, we loosen to an angle, and then we tighten to another torque. So using the, the integrated controller on the tool, we can actually have up to 16 different steps in our programming process. Now I wanna show you one more example. We're gonna do a torque plus angle strategy. So I'm gonna go back to my tightening menu. I'm gonna add another, another program here, a tightening program. We're gonna call this um, five degrees, I'm sorry, five Newton meters and 20 degrees. I'll set a maximum torque limit again of 15 Newton meters. Uh, I need to set a loosening program, otherwise when I pull the trigger, the tool is not going to run in reverse, so I'm gonna select my loosening program again. And again, I'm using the same loosening program for all these tightenings I set up, but if I wanted to use different ones, I could do that and, and map them to each of the programs. So now I will go into my steps. I'm going to tighten to a torque. So I choose my tighten torque program. I'll set the torque value I wanted to tighten to. In this case, we're gonna use five Newton meters. And inside of these steps, if I wanted to give these steps a name, I can give each of the steps a name as well. So we're gonna call this five Newton meter Titan. I'm going to set my maximum time again to 15 seconds. Uh, my maximum angle here to 2000 degrees for this particular fastener. And we're gonna click apply, add that to the program. Now I'm going to add a Titan to angle after this step. So what we'll see here is we're gonna tighten to that and then we're immediately gonna switch into our angle control strategy and we're gonna continue tightening uh, another 20 degrees uh, at a low speed. So we're gonna go at 60, 60 RPM for this step. So I need to set a maximum torque again. This is a, a global maximum for the tool. I'll set that to 15. My peak torque monitor for this program, I'm going to set at five and nine Newton meters uh, independently here. Um, my restrictions here, if I exceed my restrictions at any time, it will top the fastening and, uh, and show it is not okay. So maybe I'll lower this here to uh, 10 Newton meters. So I will click apply. I wanna check one thing on my tightening here. I think I wanna go a little bit faster than 60 RPM. So maybe we'll go 100, 150 RPMs on our first step and then we'll slow down a little bit here for our angle control step. So this program is now set up. Again, I will go back to my, my integrated controller tool menu. I'm gonna select this program from my list here and we'll run this tool on the joint, on our test joint again to see what this looks like. We can see in our tightening here, we got to 5.94 Newton meters. And if we look at our different steps here, we can see uh, how, how this worked, right? So we tightened to that torque and then we added 20 degrees to that tightening. So if I do a few more tightenings, hopefully I'll see final torques that, that come out in that same window here at 5.94. But for a process that calls for a torque plus angle, this is how we would set it up. See 6.08. So I'd kind of do a sample here along with the same joint and see um, you know, where I need to set my limits for this, this torque plus angle strategy. If I wanted to, I could also uh, set a weight step between these two steps. As I mentioned before, right now it goes directly from that torque step into the angle step. If I wanted to stop and wait for a, a few milliseconds, I could do that as well. Um, I just set this up a, a simple way here to show the torque uh, plus angle strategy. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative and thank you for watching.